Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our biceps and our shoulder muscles. A little bit more focus on the lateral delts. So we'll begin with the greatest stretch, five repetitions on each side, part of our dynamic stretching followed by the deep squat. Make sure you keep dynamic stretching as part of your pre-workout. It's extremely helpful to ensure you have the right mobility starting off with your exercises and also helps you recognize if there is any kind of restriction tightness from previous days workout or due to your daily lifestyle the, it'll help you focus more on those things so that you don't face issues or challenges during your weightlifting also it's a good way to warm up it gets your heartbeat slightly up but if you do prefer to get your heartbeat higher you can always do a five minute cardio nothing more than that going for 10 15 minutes of cardio would take your energy off or some focus of the actual workout so i would always save much of my energy for the actual workout so once done with the greatest stretch we'll finish off with a deep squat sit there for a few seconds and we are ready to begin with our first exercise so for my first exercise i'm going to start with dumbbell lateral raises like done last time i'm going to take it through the entire range of motion so they go all the way up touch and come down as slowly as possible especially from the height right where my ears start just near my head till the bottom part or not almost bottom part just as i come closer towards my under my chest height is where i slow down as much as possible creating maximum amount of time under tension so four set 20 repetitions with 45 to 60 seconds break in between yes it will be really challenging to achieve those repetitions in your third and fourth set try to reach 15 plus keep the weight same focus more on the tension build up and slightly adjust your elbow if you don't feel the tension is much on your delt if you feel it, the tension is building up on your elbow slightly bend it see that is very individual individual uh, tension build up so you might need to slightly you know turn your wrist up turn your wrist down or slightly bend your elbow slightly straighten it to build up more tension on your delt so take that first set to figure out which is the best posture and from there go ahead for me a slight elbow belt with my palms facing down is absolutely good for the next exercise i'm going to do high cable curls like always the first exercise for my bicep training my bicep at a stretched position the long head we start off with the cable three sets 20 repetitions no break in between while switching from one arm to the other Make sure the cable is always under tension. You don't want the cable or the weight resting. So the cable should be in under tension and you should be facing away from the cable. So as you can see, I look down away. So my chest is stretched out away from my shoulder. My shoulder is completely stretched on the working arm. And then I start pulling the cable towards me. Try to control the weight as much as possible. You need not be very slow about this because cable is always pulling you so there's always tension on your bicep muscle so you need not create extra eccentric force and since it's a high repetition count you will tend to get fatigue very quickly so switch from one arm to the other once you're done without taking any break like i did here see how i take my position hold the cable look down completely turn your body away from your working arm and from there rep it out as many repetitions as possible for my next exercise yes the t-shirt comes off so that i can show you clearly how my delts are working we do again cable lateral races i have noticed that i would require a little bit more strength in my lateral delts and also a little bit more uh, width so i started focusing more on my lateral raises since my ray delts are now really well developed and i have been uh, targeting them pretty good in my back day exercises so now more focus on our lateral delts three sets 20 repetitions both arms together if the cable machine is not free you can also do one arm at a time without taking a break in between one each arm so again you have to go slow you have to go all the way up come down all the way i take the cable behind my back so that i get that extra bit of stretch as you can see as i go behind my back my both my delts stretch out and from there again when i start my muscles are working from a stretched position go up all the way maximum amount of contraction nothing left and from there come down as slow as possible while the cable is pulling you out really hard 
you can do it one arm at a time as i mentioned before but when you're doing it don't take a break in between each arm if you don't prefer keeping the cable behind you you can also do it with the cable in front of you let's go for the next exercise with a regular grip curls with a barbell three sets 20 repetitions slow and steady repetition no swinging please avoid swinging yes there will be slight movement because you're lifting the weight up and letting it go down slowly but don't swing back and forth choose a weight which you can control for 20 repetitions if you're swinging that means you're letting go of the tension build up in your bicep muscle slightly letting your wrist bend downwards help you shift the focus a lot more on your bicep now if you don't prefer doing it with a barbell you can also do it with a number like i'm doing here again the principle remains the same try to control the weight get the tricep activation when your arms are straight to get the bicep stretch out completely and from there you start lifting so that you get again working your muscle from a stretched position as much as possible to create maximum amount of growth as you come closer to failure yes there will be a struggle that's absolutely fine but initial repetitions control it as much as possible the next exercise we are going to do ray delt work here i chose to do it with cable flies because this is a killer it doesn't require you to load any weight you can do it without any weight here you can see to make sure my elbows doesn't flare out i took two of uh you know the barbell spot sponges put it under my biceps so that my hands stay locked in if i move my elbows away those drop so i know my elbows have flared out you can also use a towel it does you don't need to use something as specific keep a towel under your arms keep your wrist close at a parallel parallel to the floor height and from there try to drive your hands out thumbs facing so the th both the thumbs are facing and driving outside and you get that maximum amount of contraction in your ray delt your delt should start burning maybe after 10 12 15 repetitions depending upon the strength you have that's the reason three sets as many repetitions as possible with short breaks 30 to 45 seconds break in between next exercise we are going to do is reverse grip curls again with barbell now if you prefer you can like in the even in the last exercise the regular grip you can always use a easy bar or dumbbells even for reverse grip you can use a easy bar if your wrist feel a little bit uncomfortable holding a straight bar or you can use dumbbells if you don't have access to a barb a regular barbell or a easy bar and it's absolutely fine the point is to make sure that the repetitions are in, done under control the volume is achieved three to uh, three sets 20 repetitions and you get maximum amount of stretch as you go down you want a little bit of tricep activation as you go down here you can see in the way i do from the side i go down let the bar touch my legs and then from there i come back up the weight you need not go much because again our focus is high on volume so we don't want to fail on our repetitions and the breaks which we are taking are small trust me your muscle will hit fatigue by now it should already be completely fatigued because thanks to all the amount of work which we have done in the last few exercises for the next exercise we are going to go with an easy bar so that i can do front raises with the barbell again full range of motion elbow slightly bent so i get extra bit of stretch when i come down so that i can touch the bar and move my arms behind my body line as you can see get that extra bit of stretch on my friend delt and from there raise them up as high as possible above my head to get the maximum amount of contraction in my friend delt my friend delt works a lot especially during my chest and tricep day so i don't tend to overtrain it or overemphasize it because i do have good amount of friend delt development so as i mentioned before initially my focus was on ray delts and once i felt comfortable there i moved on to my lateral delts so shoulder is a muscle which you need not lift extremely heavy but do enough amount of volume work with good challenging weight you can get the desired results very quickly after finishing off with the barbell front raises we move on to a little bit of calf work I am doing seated calf raises, two sets, as many repetitions as possible. This setup is unique because we don't have a seated calf raise machine in my gym. You can do it if you have in your gym or if you don't prefer to do that on a seated calf 
uh, calf race machine and you prefer doing standing or donkey calf races absolutely your choice just include one calf variation two sets as many repetitions as possible with 45 seconds break in between always make sure you get full range of motion wherein you push your heels up high as possible and then drop them as low as possible feel the stretch make sure the tension buildup is not happening under your calf muscles where the tendons are you want the tension buildup happening in your calf muscles so you have to go slow if you go very fast the tension buildup will be mostly felt near your ankle joint or the region in between your calf muscle and your ankle joint that's where your tendons are so you want to go slow and build up the blood accumulation in those muscles get this tightness going on and that's it we are done with our calf races we are going to finish off with a simple vertical hang to decompress our shoulders and stretch out our biceps thank you so much for joining me i hope the workout was intense and it was able to help you achieve the day's objectives if you did like the video please do drop a like and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do subscribe i'll keep you know making small changes to my programs and try to keep it as exciting as possible but we are going to stick to similar exercises so that we can build and progress over a period of time make sure you take ample amount of rest and hydrate yourself between the workouts sometimes the workouts could go lengthy so ensure that you keep hydrating yourself i hope you had a good time thank you for watching have a good day